and welcome to the five best targets to image in June. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! So to kick off July, we're going to start with M57, the Ring Nebula. And for this target, it's a great beginner um, target to get. I would definitely recommend using a medium or large telescope. You don't want to use a small one, it's just not going to work out in your frame. And if you watched episode 2 of Galactic Hunter, you should have seen us uh, capturing the Ring Nebula with our old Canon T3i DSLR camera. It was a, a cool challenge. Uh, we got a pretty okay picture, it was nice, and um, yeah, that was, a, that was a cool episode, besides the crazy scary part that happened about the, the spider, but besides that... Um, if you guys remember, that was the spider episode. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> anyway, um, and then for my favorite target, uh, my favorite target for July, it would be a, um, by far, M16, uh, the Eagle Nebula which has the perfect size to be nice with uh, any telescope. So you can use a small telescope or, or a large telescope and you will still see uh, a great um, you know, object in your frame. And there is, uh, within it, there is the famous Pillars of Creation uh, made, by, uh, made famous by Hubble a while back. And um, those ones are, are challenging to, to show in full details, but they're fantastic. So I really love M16. Beautiful. And then for the third target, uh, what do we have? We have actually a pairing, and that would be M8 and M20. Two in one. So M8 and M20, we have M8, the Lagoon Nebula, and M20, the... Triffid. Nebula. So we got those two together in episode 13 with our small telescope, and it was really nice. Right. We only really lumped them together because they're just so close by each other, and it's just really nice to just get them both in the same frame. And if you have a big telescope, you can just do them separately. So that's two in one. Mm -hmm. And then for the advanced targets, um, what do we have? We have the elephant's trunk. Mm -hmm. That's really fun. That one is challenging to get because you're going to need to get a lot of HA for that. Yeah, that's a, a tricky one as well. And um, so the second tricky one would be the crescent nebula. The crescent itself is not tricky at all. It's actually pretty bright. What's tricky is the other gas. There's so much gas in this area, there's so much. And if you uh, spend enough time on it, you can get a really, really nice image. And um, I don't like the question nebula, I just like the, the feel of view yeah. you get when you image it with also gas around it, it's amazing. Gorgeous. So that's it, I think, for yeah, July. Yeah, that's it for July. Um, remember guys, you can still see our guides online. Um, for the best targets for each season, or you can get our book right here for the best the best targets for the whole year. So just um, you can just have this book with you at all times, so you never it's, run out of targets. Yes, it's super funsies. It's fit for all seasons, so no matter what season it is, you're always gonna have a target. So we'll see you guys next time, and guess guys. <laughs>